Brother Ray has 12 rabbits. That's Father Rabbit. That's Mother Rabbit. Love from Mummy and Daddy. By the time they are six or seven, these children are still a long way behind children who can hear. They still don't know many words, and it is only through words that their minds can grow and reach out into the world. But they have started to work together, and work is a more serious business now. Miss Massey's children are beginning to know where they are in the world. Is it Wednesday? <laughs> Is it the seventh? Eighth. No! No! Shall I rub it off? No! Little Black Sambo has taken the children's fancy. They only met him yesterday when Miss Massey told them his story for the first time. They can follow a story now, retold in the words they know, for even the simplest story has words that are new to these children. A beautiful green umbrella. umbrella. But best of all, like any children, they like to take parts in the story and act it for themselves. Little black sambo, a beautiful green umbrella. Black mumbo gave little black sambo a lovely little pair of purple shoes. Then black sambo put on his beautiful little red coat. Then he went for a walk in the jungle. There were tigers in the jungle. The tigers were very fierce. Little Black Sambo was not afraid of the tigers. Little Black Sambo was very grand. And that is why nobody wants to lose Little Black Sambo. Don't you want me to rub it off? No! 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 All right, I'll leave it on then. Every story and every game like this is a lesson as well giving the children more words and more understanding. Lip reading must become instinctive to them, as natural as hearing. Morris? Tell Morris. Morris, please fetch the mirrors. All the time, Miss Massey is drawing the children out of themselves into the life of the class getting them used to the idea of doing things on their own. It is Linda's turn to give the mirrors round. She's quite aware of what Miss Massey wants, and quite aware of why Catherine is making a fuss. She doesn't want just any mirror. She wants her own mirror. The mirrors are for speech. By this time, learning to speak is less like play and more like work. Boop, 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 be. And so you start to recognize what sounds look like when you were making them yourself. But a mirror can't show you how to speak. There must be someone to help. 
Choosing the words that have come up in class, perhaps in the story, Miss Massey sets to work, day after day, to give her children speech, showing them the shapes their mouths must make, making them feel the sound of a voice. When someone speaks to you, it's natural to watch their eyes. Deaf children have to learn to watch mouths. Little black flambo. sounds must be repeated. A word comes very slowly when you can only get it right by remembering exactly what it feels like when you say it. Sounds grow to words, and words grow to phrases, and Catherine is going to say a sentence. Who is that? What is that? Only one out of every three children who are deaf can hope to achieve real speech. They must be given strength and devotion from the outside, and they must have devotion and strength themselves, like Catherine. Only one deaf child in three will achieve real speech. Thursday's child has far to go. Four years old seems early to be leaving home to go to school. But for these children, school is the safest and happiest way of learning to live with other people. So they learn together and live together, and as they live, they learn. in life, she is the managing kind. John and Rosemary are already getting used to their first term at school and starting to look outside themselves and enjoying what they see. Faces become brighter when there is understanding in them. Eyes and hands are lively, expressing what words cannot say. some of the words you have learned. These children are being saved from the worst enemy of the deaf, from being alone, cut off in silence. There are many good things in life that these children can never have. They will never hear music or the sound of a voice. They will find that the world outside is often in a hurry and that luckier people who have hearing are often impatient with those who have none. 
that these children will not be unprepared. There is a spirit in them which will make up for some of the good things they have got to miss. Their world will never be the same as our world, but it can be a good world all the same.